On today's Kidding with Kayla, there's no perfect science for parenting, but you will end up doing a lot of math. This can include adding to the to-do list, subtracting from your bank account, multiplying messes, and dividing out chores. Here's Kayla's report. That's exactly right, Bob and Barb. It is called parent math, and it's commonly used to calculate family schedules, spending, meal plans, and in this case, the amount of kidless free time I'll get this evening. Take a look at this. The time is now 4 p.m., and I'm faced with the option of letting him take a full nap in the car or wake him up so he actually goes to sleep at a decent hour tonight. Recent history shows I'll likely choose letting him sleep now so I can relax and scroll through videos on my phone. As a result, sources say I can expect little to no free time tonight, scattered tantrums, and overwhelming regret. Back to you. <laughs> so, oh, man. I loved this story because anything that encourages creative responses right. I'm just a geek for and so I asked my viewers to give me their own like word problems for kind of like yeah. you would have on a a child's homework sheet, like if a train you know? is heading yes at 40 yes. miles an hour so yeah. they send these in and I love them so much okay so this one is you accidentally told the kids they were going to the zoo four hours before oh, you're supposed man. to leave. How many times can you expect them to whine about it <laughs> <laughs> before it's time to leave for the zoo? A, three times. B, 15 times. C, so many times that you decided that you're no longer going to go because they won't stop. <laughs> and you set the boundary that if they mentioned it again, you wouldn't go. So now you just... <laughs> yeah. just oh, oh, man, my. that's the worst. Isn't that the best? Yeah. All right, there's more. If you give your child goldfish crackers in the car, how long do you have before they are completely crushed on the floor? Oh, right. A, one minute. B, five minutes. C, who cares? The car is already trashed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this next one. Can you, how many times can you sing or hear the wheels on the bus song without completely losing your mind? A, five times. B, ten times. C, 50. I'm going to let you oh, answer this one. Uh, zero times. <laughs> I knew that, you were yeah, going to that. Yeah, that one does not play. The wheels on the Ugh. bus go. And why does the mom get to say, shh, 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 but dad is like, I love you. I love, no. <laughs> okay. Well, somebody has to. <laughs> somebody has to what? Nothing. I'm gonna okay, again. we'll stop you there. Your son drank a whole glass of water before bed. How long do you have before he will wake you up saying his sheets are wet? Oh. A, one hour. B, four hours. C, you'll find out in the morning when you're running late and he's crying about how you have to wash it now, mommy. <laughs> What's worse than that is when it's not his bed. Oh, yeah. Right? He's climbed Touché. in with you and then it's, you wake up and go, wait a second. Why is it so Yeah, I don't remember having that problem anymore. Mm -hmm. Yep, Alan is still very much in that phase. All right, school is canceled. Do you call into work and miss an important meeting? We're calling a favor with the grandparents Ooh. knowing it may result in Friday night's babysitting to be traded out. The at the sake of the bosses watching, I'm definitely calling in sick. You're calling in sick, I, I knew it. <laughs> I need that Friday night. <laughs> I get the sick days. All right. Your kid has a doctor's appointment at 10 a.m. and the office is 30 minutes away. What time should you start getting ready if the child knows they're going to go and they don't want to go to this appointment? Ooh. A, 8 a.m., B, 7 a.m., C, 6 a.m. I start getting ready at the time in which I should have been at the appointment. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's why I'm not allowed to be in I know who takes things. the kids yeah, to the I'm not. Listen, now. I took them both uh, just recently. Maddie had, like, an earache thing, and, uh -huh. and I had to take Ella with us. And the fact that we made it out the door and there on time was a it miracle. It really is so difficult. And that's the, that's the amount of math. I, I'm always doing math on how long it's going to take me to get ready to do because you have to factor in oh he's probably going to throw a tantrum about wearing his shoes yep. or he's probably going to do you know especially if it's a doctor's appointment because even just getting in the door is a struggle because he recognizes the building now oh, he just got he knows three shots at his last appointment oh it's a struggle well for more kidding with <laughs> kayla follow me kayla sullivan on facebook or click the kidding with kayla tab on wishtv.com